everybody i am nitin and today in this psle 2016 paper 2 question series i'll be going through question 17 in my channel i aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there okay so let's jump straight into question 17 so this is question 17 it is testing us on area and perimeter okay it has two parts to solve it i am gonna do part a right now so let's read the question first a square is made up of four triangles p q r and s the area of p is one nine the area of the square while the area of q is one six the area of the square the total area of p and q is 10 centimeter q uh, sorry 10 centimeter square what is the length of each side of the square so they're asking us the the length of each side of the square so now that we're read part a let's read the uh, let's highlight the key information so a square is made up of four triangles p q or n s the area of p is one nine the area of the square while the area of q is one six the area of the square the total area of P and Q is 10 cm square. What is the length of each side of the square? Okay. So, they're telling us that P is 1 over 9 and Q is 1 over 6 of the square. Okay. So, part A. I'm going to find the fraction of P and Q together, all together, which is 1, 9 plus 1, 6, which is 5 over 18. Okay, so 5 over 18. So 5 units is basically 10 cm cube. Okay, so the area of the square is 18 units. So 5 units is equal to 10 cm square. 1 unit is equal to 10 divided by 5, which is 2 cm square. And then they are asking us what is the length of each side of the square so basically you can find the area of the whole square and then just square root it it will give you the length okay so i'm going to find the area of the square which is 18 times 2 which is equal to 36 okay so it is 36 cm square now i'm just going to square root it which is 6 cm square eh, sorry 6 cm so 6 cm is the answer for part a okay so i hope you understand that so i hope you understand that okay so 6 cm is the answer for part a now how do we solve part b they are asking us what fraction of square is s okay can you see this this line over here this line over here is a magic line okay you'll you'll help you solve this question this is a magic line you should thank this line okay so look, they are asking us the fraction of S, right? This thing. Okay, so basically, I'm going to show you a magic trick. It involves this line. So when I cut across it, do you know what does this actually make? It makes two magical rectangles. Look at this. One rectangle there and another rectangle here okay so there are two rectangles here okay so now that you made two rectangles you guys can know that look at this you guys can know that see p is actually half of this rectangle p is actually half of this small rectangle p is actually half of it okay so you know that p is half of this rectangle now so p okay now when you are done with this right you can find something else there's a triangle over here you can see that there's a triangle right there's a big triangle over here this triangle will also help us solve this question okay this triangle okay and this line over here is the height of the triangle okay so look at this this line over here is the height of the triangle that is why this triangle 
Do you know why is this triangle half of this square? Do you understand? Is it half of the square? Do you know? Do you know why is it half of the square? Okay, this triangle, the base is basically the length of the square and the height reaches out to the other length of the square. That is why this is half of the square. So basically, if you can see, right, P plus S is basically half of the square. Okay, so half of the square is 5 over 18, right? So half of the square is what? 18 divided by 2, right? So half, which is... 18 divided by 2, it is what? Tell me. 9 over 18, right? So, I'm just going to take half as the simplest form. Minus 1 over 9. Because they want S, right? 1 over 9 is P. Um, okay? So, P, 1 over 9, right? Which will give us S. So, half minus 1 over 9, it will give us 7 over 18. Okay? Or you could take it like this. You can take it as 9 over over 18 minus 2 over 18 you will still give us 7 over 18 okay so 7 over 18 is the answer for part b if this is half the rest should be half as well that is why we take half minus 1 over 9 okay so that is why the answer is 7 over 18 for part b okay so i hope you understand my explanation for Question 17, parts A and B. Okay, so thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.